another week of Q&A with Coach Tandar. I hope you guys are doing well and keeping happy. I have a great question again from another time fan, and I'm going to get to it straight away. Here we go. Hello, Coach Tandar. I have a simple yet complicated question. What makes a good leader? I've heard that term many times, and I'm intimidated by it. Not sure if I am one. Please elaborate. Thank you. Thank you, Paul, for writing it. That's a great question. And before I get into details about what happens in the workplace and what makes a leader, what most people relate that to, I would like to begin by being a good leader starts with you. Being the best at your own life, loving yourself, giving yourself the best of what you deserve and what you want. That's leading a great life, being uh, charitable, being giving, and knowing always there's someone watching. And that's what makes a person a great leader. So you probably are a leader without you not knowing it. And there are many things you probably do that are exemplary, and you're probably teaching a lot of other people that, and you're probably leading. Uh, your own life in a way that uh, if you sit down and write that, feel like you are a leader already. Now that we got that covered, let's get to a list of values that entails what makes a good leader. First, I would say is honesty. If you're honest around the workplace or anyone else with the people you're always in contact with and see or whoever it is that crosses your path, people pick up on honesty. People know who is a genuine person. The more you are honest with someone and you have to be honest in a nice and gentle way, not just throw something in someone's face and say you're this or you're that. That's not honesty. Honesty uh, has a gentle tone to it. It has a kindness and yet saying the truth and it's part of the vulnerability of a human being. And that's very well recognized in personal and professional life. So honesty would be the key for the employees to follow their leader. If the leader is honest, they'll be honest. And the productivity goes up as a result because they know they're not being tricked into something. Or whatever it is, if it's a problem or if there's a compliment, it all comes from a good part of the heart that's mostly appreciated and honored by many people. Another value on the list for me is delegating. Delegating is to trust others and to show them that you believe in them, that they do have amazing skills and they do have the talent to finish a job and get it done. And they have those qualities. When a leader delegates, it boosts the confidence of the followers, the people, the employees, the friends or people who look up to you. Uh, it does actually make a huge difference when you're giving them a task that you, they know you could have done it very well yourself, but you're choosing to give it to them to complete it. So that's another one. And the third one would be communication. Communication is the opposite of assumption. When someone does take the time to communicate a feeling, a thought, and sits there and explains it, they know that you're taking that task upon yourself to help them understand you better and to help them understand the project better, to help them understand where you're coming from. So they know that you're taking that time to open up to them and it actually brings people closer together. So when a leader is communicating very well, whether it's a good thing or it's a disapproval or it's an approval or it's a reward, when you're communicating your thoughts or uh, feelings to someone, it brings you to that human level that you're telling the other person, you're worth it, you're worth understanding me, you're worth understanding all this, and therefore I'm taking the time to tell you all this. The next one is confidence. No matter how chaotic a situation can be or an error happening, whatever it is, in a workplace or in the household or in a personal situation, once you have that confidence that you know no matter what it will be okay, you eliminate a lot of that chaos and you actually raise the morale. No one goes into a crazy panic mode because they know uh, that there is a calm, there is a trust uh, within you that you know whatever comes there will be a solution after that so it's it's the confidence of a leader that is very admirable that many people count on so that's something to consider and last but not but least i like uh, humor i like a good sense of humor when a leader has a good sense of humor it shows the fun side of you the playful side of you that it's not just all work 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 even in a personal life when you have a sense of humor it eases so many situations a smile, a little joke. People love relating to each other through a sense of humor or anything else. 
And uh, that brings them actually closer together. And a good laugh always takes the morale of the office up and feel more connected to you. And what that respect goes even higher. It, it raises the bar. I hope this has been a helpful tip for you. Hope this is going to be something that will help you lead the way and uh, believing in yourself that you are a leader. And uh, for the rest of you, do sign up for the newsletter. And if you miss something like this on Facebook or anywhere else, the newsletter will definitely have it in your mailbox. And if you don't have time, you can watch it on a weekend or any time after that. You just have to go to tandertanaholy.com and uh, sign up. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you all next week. Until then, keep happy and happy.